Last example. John's starting wage is $12.50 per hour, and his employee promises him 2% increase every month if he works well. What is John's wage after six months? Let's start off by making the assumption that John is a good worker and he gets that wage increase every month. But before we get too far into this, it's a little bit of a trick question. And I'll show you why if you take the quick easy way, you don't quite get the right answer. And you're actually shorting John some of his raise. But before we get into that, it's still a percent question. We're still going to work with that proportion. Let's start with the shortcut way. So most people are going to look at this question and say, oh, okay, if he gets 2% per month and he does that for six months, 2% times six months, he gets a 12% raise. Let's do it that way, but then let me show you why that math is just a little bit wrong. I'm not going to do just the 12% raise. I'm actually going to do the 112%. Let's cross multiply that. Divide both sides by 100. Using that method, John works his way up to $14 an hour after six months. He got a raise of $1.50. Well, I'm going to put a box around this, and I'm going to put a little note. Not quite right. And let me show you the correct way. The way to do this question correctly is you have to do each month and its raise separately. Keep in mind, each of these is only a 2% raise, so we're going to write it as 102% over 100. At the end of the first month, John's wage went up to $12.75 an hour. That's a 25 cent raise. Now let's do the second month. It's also going to be a 2% raise, but this time, instead of our whole being $12.50, it's 2% of $12.75. We've got a new whole. Now, after the end of the second month, John is making $13.01. This time, instead of getting a 25 cent an hour raise, he got a 26 cent raise. Let's keep going through this. Each time we move to a new month, we're going to use the old wage, not the original one, but the wage from just before it to figure out that raise. At the end of the third month, John's wage gets bumped up to $13.27. That's another 26 cent raise. I'm going to go through these a little bit faster. You've seen the math on it already. The end of the fourth month, he ends up getting another 26 cent raise. At the end of the fifth month, he's now making $13.80. That's a 27 cent raise this time. In the last month, the sixth month, in the end, John ends up making $14.08 an hour. This last raise was a 28 cent an hour raise. So let's look at these two different methods. On the correct method, he ended up earning $14.08 per hour at the end. Versus if we did it the other way, he only ended up earning $14 an hour. There's a reason why he made those extra eight cents. And the reason is every time his wage went up a month, the next month when they calculated that 2% raise, he also got a raise on all the raises he'd gotten before. Whereas when he did the incorrect method, it was just a 12% raise on the original amount. So the correct method, he got raises on his raises, which ended up being just a little bit more per hour.